In this video, we are going to show you how to create a custom skin for Ableton Live. Ableton Live may be a bona fide modern classic, but giving that drab gray finish a splash of paint wouldn't exactly qualify as desecration. Assuming we have Max4 Live installed, we can do exactly that. First, we'll have to swing over to the Max4Live.com site and grab the skin editor device from the library add the new max for live device to the user library, presets, audio effects, and max audio effects. Now with a new Ableton Live set opened and displaying the default color scheme, we'll drag our skin editor into a track. As you can see, it shows up like any other Max for Live device. There are only a few immediate options, one of which is labeled Colors, so we will click on that one. A new window will appear offering a lot of options to play with. If the names of the various elements that can be changed leave you scratching your head, you can grab a free PDF courtesy of sonicbloom.net that will give you an idea of what's what. We'll start by selecting the top left item, surface area. We can then choose a color from the familiar color editor. We've dialed in a pale green hue. We'll do likewise with some other elements. Now we can use the save and open buttons in our Max for Live device to store and recall our changes. When saving, it is necessary to type in the extension .ask after the file name, and we must put it in the Applications, Contents, App Resources, Skins folder. Now we can choose our new skin from Live's Preferences Look Feel options. Ours might be a little garish, and it may not be to your taste, but it does indeed get the point across.